Hello everyone and you're welcome. Now in this lesson we're greeted with this uh, cute puppies and today we're going to be modeling the uh, dog class using Python's object-oriented programming. Now it says here the uh, dog species is the Canis lupus familiaris or Canis or Canidae. I just like this Canis lupus familiaris because why it looks like a cute canine kind of classification for a name now we're going to be modeling the uh, dog class over here we have a cat or the horse but I and mean, we'll just stick with the with the dogs right now right because cats are uh, evil and they're taking over the world so uh, the three classes we're going to be modeling are the uh, corgi class uh, cute corgi hello and the uh, siberian husky and uh, wow this this I, I really like this picture super cute picture and this guy is just uh it's just standing out. This guy is too serious. And uh, finally, we'll look at the uh, golden uh, retriever. Now, a cool thing about the golden retriever is like they were bred in such a way that they could retrieve, you know, game that was being hunted in such a way that they don't actually get to, uh, you know, crush the game when it's been uh, shot. Uh, I don't like guns and shooting animals. So, uh, yeah, we'll just move ahead from this. So, these are the three classes we'll be modeling, and they are all based off the Canis uh, lupus familiaris. So uh, let's just go ahead and start that. So I'll just uh, drop this off just to get that screen away. And I'll open up uh, Idle. Now you can use Sublime or any other environment you want. I'll just use uh, Idle. And to, if you install Python, you actually have Idle by default. So I'll just type IDLE. You're going to see it like this. That's the integrated development and learning environment. It just gives you a nice uh, interface where you could code. Now, if you start coding in this environment, you're going to have like a tough time because you can't really save your file. So what you need to do is to create a new file. So let me just go to file, new file, and then I'll go to file, save, just save that file. And I'll just call it uh, Canis Lupus, yeah, fam. Yeah, because it's like totally awesome to uh, do that kind of lupus familiar uh, stuff. So the first thing we're going to do is to create a class, like a dog class, and then have three subclasses that we inherit from that parent class. So let's just go ahead and uh, do that. So to create a class, I'm just going to say class dog. Oop, not doff. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, doff is actually the drink from Simpsons. And uh, yeah, super awesome. So I'm just going to say class dog and just the keyword pass it means we just have a basic dog class that does nothing right that's what it does so you use pass when you don't want your uh, method to do nothing we want our method to do something right so we'll create another class and these are going to inherit from the dog class so the other class we're going to create is that we have the siberian uh, husky right so uh, the golden retriever and the Siberian Husky. So let's just say golden, golden retriever, right? Just like that. And it's going to inherit from the dog class. Right now we're just going to say pass because it does nothing. And then we're also going to say class Siberian Husky, which also inherits from the dog class. And we're also going to say pass because we don't want to do anything. And then finally, we're going to have the class Corgi, which actually also inherits from the dog class. So I'm saying inherits from the dog class. So what are we inheriting? So right now the code is empty. We don't have any uh, methods. We don't have any uh, class properties and attributes. So it's actually basically inheriting nothing also. So let's just go ahead and uh, make this do uh, something. So we're going to be using what is called Python's init method. Now the init method is a default constructor and it's going to tell Python how you want that dog class to be built. Right. So let's just get rid of this pass right now and add a little space here, space here and space here and some more spaces because why not? You know, spaces are super awesome. So to do that, I'm just going to say def underscore underscore init underscore underscore like that these are called dunder methods like they are python's default methods they are special methods or some call them magic methods before we go further let me just create a, uh, create a comment for our doc string and just say a dog class example to understand 
object oriented yikes and I'll just make this caps because you know these are all nouns so object oriented programming or some you can just see OOP somewhere so you don't like get scared what OOP is so uh, yeah that's what object oriented programming is now the init method is a default Python method that tells it us the initial state like how you want this uh, class to be uh, constructed when you want to create an instance of the class that's the actual dog like when you create an actual dog so first we're going to pass in the default keyword self now self is a default variable of that init uh, method and it's used to access the properties right? we'll see that as an example so don't get worried about that so i'm going to create two variables a name and the uh, the age now no you can actually do more than this you know you can do uh, you can do color you know we can do height you know, we can do favorite uh, food, you know, for dog food. We can do all these properties, but we just want to keep it simple. K-I-S-S, keep it simple. So we're going to just do two variables, right? So now we're going to create that uh, species, this one, the uh, this one right here, the Canis lupus familiaris. And that, that's not going to get old anytime, right? So this is a class attribute, and it's going to be uh, specific to this entire class. All right, so this is a class attribute and be specific to the class. So I'm just going to say species and yes, you guess you guessed right. We're going to say uh, <laughs> Canis lupus familiaris. Yeah, because uh, my name is actually awesome. If I had a nickname, it would be Kenneth Lucas. Uh, yeah, that would be kind of super weird. But yeah, yeah, that's it. So uh, yeah, we've created our... Uh, and it shouldn't be actually here, right? It's because we want it to be accessible to the entire class. So I'll just place it right here. Not in our uh, initializer method. Yeah. So next, I'm going to say self.name equals name. And I'm going to say self dot age equals the age. So, right, if the self is a default variable that is passed into the init method each time the init method is called for the constructor, setting self dot name equals name will create a, an attribute called name and assign it to the value of the name variable that was passed into the init method. So, this one right here we're setting it to the name variable that was passed into the init method which is our constructor our constructor which is the init method tells us how we should create this instance of the dog class right so if we actually have a dog and the dog has a name and age this is how we're going to uh, you know show that result so let's go ahead and uh, create another uh, function right here so let's create another function called dev uh, speak Right, so uh, speak, and actually let's call it bark. <laughs> yeah, bark, because dogs actually bark. They don't like super speak like people. So we'll pass in self, and then the sound that dog is gonna uh, make. So let's we'll just say uh, sound. Now these arguments we pass into methods are called uh, parameters, or you can also call them uh, arguments. And what we're going to do is to return a value right now so we're going to just return the uh, self dot name the name of the dog and then the sound it makes so let's just say self dot name yeah let me just go ahead right here sounds like right so let's just say sound right so the, the dog sounds like the sound we're going to pass in when we call the uh, bark you know, method, just like that. So we have sound bark, and then the other thing I'd like to do is to you know tell Python how I want my results to be displayed. So I'm going to use another special method called str, which returns a string, 
and what the str does is to make sure that uh, you return the format so let's just uh, return all right so i'm going to use pretty printing so i'm going to see uh in curly braces i'm going to say self dot name and you're going to see why it's actually cool to do it this way is so we're going to pass in the self dot age actually in these curly braces we're just getting these values right now so when we create the instance of the name and age of the dog we're just going to say we're just going to return based on the str the name of the dog is so let's say the name of the dog is python python is four years and i'll just put the word old right now and then we'll remember to close this and we'll go ahead and just save this so we have uh, three methods right here an init method that tells us how we want to create the uh, construct our object a bark method that tells us like the sound the dog makes and then the str method that you know shows us the display so with this said let's just go ahead and run the instance and uh, create the um, instance of the uh, dog class so let's just say i have a dog name called tiger right an object called tiger so i'm going to say tiger whoops so i'm just going to say dog like that and i'm going to pass in the name of the dog which is tiger and then the age so let's just say five right, like that so i'm just going to save it now i'm going to say print tiger i'll just save that and run it whoops yeah, we forgot to close this guy with a coat. Sorry about that, guys. It says Tiger is five old. Whoops, whoops. Tiger is years. Wow, that English was just, I just murdered English. <laughs> Tiger is five years old. So we're getting this output because of the str method right so basically that's how it and then if we want to call this bark we can just see a uh, tiger dot bark and then in the bark we we'll just say oh like oh yeah, like that so uh, we're just gonna call this brk right so tiger dot bark so we're also gonna print out B R K. You know what? I should just call it Bark. Well, yeah, no problem. So let's just go ahead and print out and see. Tiger sounds like oh, yeah, like that. <laughs> so basically, that's uh, how we print out the instance of uh, the class. So I don't want this video to be uh, super long. So I'm just gonna break it into a few uh, separate parts. So uh, yeah, we'll continue on on the part two. Where we're going to create the uh, populate the uh, golden retriever these and the uh, siberian husky uh, classes so see you in the part two